More on the news at 10 is Sports News with Lumi Day. Thank you, Salai. Hello and welcome to Sports News. Nigeria's Golden Eagle has continued with their impressive display at the FIFA Under-17 World Cup with a convincing 3-0 victory over Mexico. An own goal gave Nigeria the lead in the first half after they completely dominated their opponents. Kele Chihe Nacho made it 2-4 and from then it was a one-way traffic situation. Captain Musa Mohammed put the game behind Mexico when he added his name to the score sheet. Golden Eagle has become the first team to win the Cadet Championships four times. No offside and Yahaya, the quiet guy with the big smile, makes it 1-0. It's a good decision from the officials. Meanwhile, debutant Sweden uh, made short work of Argentina by four goals to one in Abu Dhabi to seal third place at the 2013 FIFA Under-17 World Cup, thanks in part to a Valmer Berisha hat trick. The Scandinavians were the better side for the opening whistle. Valmer Berisha again proving one of the top sc scorers of these finals with three goals to his total haul to seven in seven games as Sweden finished their first junior world finals with a bronze medal. The Argentines, who missed several key starters due to suspension, were no match for their opponents who completely obliterated them. And finally in tennis, Stanislaw Wawrinka, Wawrinka claimed a second victory at the ATP World Tour Finals on Friday today. He won 6-7, 6-4, 6-1 against a wary David Ferrer and now needs a favor from Rafael Nadal to reach the semi-finals. His chances seem to be slipping away on Friday when he squandered a 5-2 lead in the first set and allowed Ferrer to take it on a tie break. Having won the second set, he raced through to the third for victory. That's it on Sports News. Elias, back to you. Well, on the forums in the Philippines, uh, well, is groaning under the weight of Typhoon Haiyan, which is battering the country with sustained winds of 235 kilometers per hour. Meteorologists predict that Haiyan could be the most powerful storm ever to make a landfall and uh, so far at least uh, three persons have died from its impact in the Philippines. Now Temi Chokwe Fagwimi tells us more. Indeed, Typhoon Haiyan is causing a lot of havoc in the Philippines. It has forced millions to seek shelter in 20 provinces and at least three people have died. But experts say it may take days before the full damage is known. On to diplomatic relations now. The U.S. Secretary of State John Kerry has arrived in Geneva for key talks. Upon arrival, Mr. Kerry stressed that no agreement has yet been reached on Iran's nuclear program. The U.S. Secretary of State joined the U.K., French and German foreign ministers for unscheduled talks with Iranian representatives. Under a deal that has been floated, Iran could freeze expansion of its nuclear activity for limited sanctions relief. Still on diplomatic relations, Palestine has once again accused Israel of being behind the death of its former leader, Yasser Arafat. This follows a Swiss report which said that the late leader's remains contained high levels of radioactive polonium. But Israel has dismissed any suggestion that it was involved. In Europe, a royal marine has been found guilty of murdering an injured Afghan insurgent in what the prosecution called an execution. The marine, known only as A, faces a mandatory life term over the shooting of the unknown man while on patrol in Helmand, Afghanistan in 2011. Two other marines, known as B and C, were acquitted of murder. Finally, Italian police say human traffickers tortured and raped African migrants whose boat later sank off Lampedusa with the loss of more than 360 lives. The police have arrested a Somali man on Lampedusa accused of committing crimes with the armed gang. And those are the top stories on the foreign scene. Well, thank you. On Entertainment News tonight, founding 
as well as new members of the Nigerian movie industry Nollywood gathered to celebrate the 20th anniversary recently in Lagos. Victoria Ido has details and other stories. <music> Tonight in entertainment news, Maven Records, led by award-winning singer and producer Don Jazzy, has released an official statement following the embarrassing social media fight between Don Jazzy and his protege, Wandi Cole. After both parties called one another out on Twitter over the ownership of the truck Babyface. The record imprint has confirmed that the bumper to bumper Krunier has been released from his contract with the Maven Records. While Don Jazzy and Wande Cole were at each other's neck on Twitter, fellow Maven record artist Sarah Savage and Dr. Seed were spotted at the Music in a Bottle hangout held in Lagos. The Eminado Crinier performed her Don Jazzy featured hit track with so much glee and energy. Also present are the event with Two Face and Links amongst others. And the Nigerian movie industry, popularly dubbed Nollywood, celebrated 20 years of mainstream activities in Lagos recently. The event, which was attended by the creme de la creme of the industry, is expected to mark the beginning of a new era of astute creativity and professionalism in an industry that has virtually been running without no proper structure. Finally, the Mercedes-Benz African Fashion Week concluded with a glittering awards ceremony where an internationally acclaimed fashion South African designer, Gavin Raja, scooped the 2013 Designer of the Year Award. All the winners include Ghanaians Anissa Penguin and Anita Kwanza, who casted away the accessory designer of the year. And that's all on the entertainment news. The news at 10 continues shortly. Nigeria's Golden Eaglets have been crowned the new under-17 FIFA World Champions following a resounding victory over defending champions Mexico. With the victory, Nigeria has become the most successful team in the history of the tournament, having won the title for an unprecedented fourth time. Meanwhile, President Goodluck Jonathan has congratulated the Golden Eaglets for a well-deserved victory at the Under-17 World Cup. He commended the team for demonstrating great skill and projecting the Nigerian can do spirit. That's the news at 10. Many thanks for watching and congratulations.